Hello, this is Andrew again, and now I'm going to teach you a little trick about using a low voltage to trigger a relay. This is a common problem in a microcontroller and IC. Why IC or integrated circuit micro or microcontroller cannot energize a relay? The answer is microcontroller current is not enough to energize the relay. For example, we have a 5 volt supply and we have a microcontroller here and we have a 5 volt coil relay. A microcontroller maximum current is approximately 50 milliampere and the relay operating current is approximately 40 milliampere. But if you will use a battery to energize a relay, the battery has enough current to energize the relay. Now, this is our first solution. We can use transistor as our current booster. A current booster is using a transistor to increase the output current on the circuit. Let's use our circuit while ago. We have a 5 volts supply and a relay with 5 volts coil. A current will flow, but microcontroller will release a maximum current of 50 milliampere, which is not enough to energize the relay. Now, we have this another circuit. 5 volts supply and 5 volts relay. When the current at the base of the transistor is applied, the current at the collector will flow and it will allow the current at the emitter to flow also. And by a formula, the current at the emitter is equivalent to current at the base plus current at the collector. It means that the current at the relay is now bigger. The transistor is used to increase the current at the relay. The diode in reverse bias is used for stored energy protection. The resistor is used to limit the current flow at the base to protect the transistor. Next solution. Use transistor as switch. Use transistor to allow the current to flow. Given the circuit, we have a 12 volts DC and a relay with a 12 volts coil. We use a voltage regulator to generate 5 volts DC for our microcontroller. Then now, by applying a current at the base, the current at the collector will flow and the current at the emitter also. At this circuit, the transistor is used to allow the flow of current at the relay. The resistor is used to limit the flow of current at the base to protect the transistor. And the diode in reverse bias for energy stored protection. By the way, here, for transistor switching and current booster, I have a separate video for them, the application of the transistor, and for the stored energy protection, I have also a separate video for it. If you want to know how does this diode works, and that's all. Thank you for watching this video. Please like my Facebook page and uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.